Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we discussed the fastest method to upgrade troops in the laboratory. Today, let's get into the easiest army to be effective in Clan War as a new Town Hall 11. I am a firm believer that there is more than one way to play Clash of Clans. An army that I'm using might not work out very well for you, and you like to have alternatives. What's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 15 of the Town Hall 11 Free-to-Play series. And today, we're going to get into those Electro Dragons. It's quite possibly one of the easiest armies that you can apply to be effective in Clan War immediately as a new Town Hall 11. Now, you might be asking, Joe, why aren't you going to be using Electro Dragons? And the answer is because I started another path targeting a completely different army so i haven't unlocked all of my barracks just yet but for those of you that do not know and you only unlock one barracks as we have going on right here you will see that i have an electro dragon train now here's the reason why i am not using electro dragons because when i look at my training tab we have two hours and 40 minutes until this electro dragon army is finished training so we've been at town hall 11 for a few weeks now and we've had multiple comments in previous episodes requesting for an army that you can use in clan war that does not require heroes nor does it require the siege machines in those comments i will normally respond use electro dragons instead of any of the other armies because i feel like it's one of the most easiest armies to apply early on at town hall 11 and it's also quite useful once you get them leveled up so we've relocated over here to paradox reloaded because we have a lot of players over here that tend to war without their heroes everybody's upgrading their heroes i don't blame them there's nothing wrong with that but you might choose that you want a clan war instead Dead. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at one replay in particular that has level one Electro Dragons. Now, before we get into that attack, I want to show you the difference in mindset here because we got a few down here. We got Hunter, Poppy Chulo that are using the minor Hog Rider hybrid attack. Now, these bases are very high weighted bases looking pretty good. Town Hall 11's here, but you'll also notice that Hunter does not have his Barbarian King, nor does he have his Grand Warden. And this was a three star attack. Now, also notice the level of miners and the level of hog riders level five miners level seven hog riders so he had to do some leveling up in his laboratory but what if you do not do that maybe you just unlock your barracks instead and get the electro dragons well you can use an army like what shadow walker uses here now i'll go ahead and acknowledge this is a rushed town hall 12 it's the best that i could find guys i don't see a lot of electro dragons destroying max town hall 11s at least in the clans that i'm in but this base is actually perfect for electro dragons because all the buildings are stacked on top of each other like so and so the electro dragon does that chain lightning ability most of you guys know this stuff by now so what it will do is target one building and then that lightning will bounce across buildings this is perfect and this is why a lot of players love this army and it's why i also will say it's kind of easy to apply now even though it seems like it's very easy to apply you still have to do some basic funneling to make sure that your group does not spread around the outsides of the base and so that's why we have two electro dragons placed to start clearing out these exterior buildings and then they're going to work their way into these little caverns into the base and this was really nice because because that we have all these buildings stacked on top of each other. Now we have the main group of Electro Dragons placed and the rest of our balloons, as well as the Grand Warden over on the far right side of the screen. We'll also have a Stone Slammer placed down on the bottom side of the base to target this Inferno Tower. Now, unfortunately, this will not be successful because this E-Drag fails to do his job and he does not clear out these buildings in this area. So I'm pretty sure that the Stone Slammer was supposed to go up into this Inferno Tower, move into that air sweeper to help our main group of e drags out but it doesn't really matter it's going to work out regardless so free spell on that inferno tower to stop it from targeting our stone slammer keep it alive free spell dropped on the queen and the inferno tower but everything's going down so fast that you can't even really keep up with the attack so we do have a rage spell to rage up our balloons to get into the eagle artillery but there was a tornado trap in the center of the base but it's okay. You're going to notice that the freeze spells have been used on this Inferno Tower multiple times to keep that Stone Slammer alive so it can also destroy defenses. It does play a major role if you can get your hands on a Stone Slammer from a Town Hall 12. Works out really nice. So we have another rage spell drop for our E-Drags targeting the Town Hall, free spell dropped on the Town Hall, as well as the Grand Warden's ability to keep these E-Drags alive to get to the back side of the base. Now inside that Stone Slammer, we had higher level balloons. This might be harder to come by for some of you, but it does help out dramatically if you can get them. 
because they tend to blow through these lower weighted defenses really, really fast. And even if these were higher level Expos, they will still assist dramatically. So our E-Drags, they're gonna split a little bit, but they're also gonna get a lot of value on these exterior buildings that are placed tight together. And so this one E-Drag up here in particular is gonna destroy multiple defenses in the process by chain lightning around the base. And so they're all gonna meet up together on this far left side of the screen. Now, up until this point, we have yet to see the Barbarian King and you're gonna see that he is now on the map. So he did not play a major role in this attack. And this is where I say that this army is very useful even without your heroes, because that King could be down on upgrade and you don't necessarily need him, especially on bases like this, when they're all chained together like so. And these E-Drags, even though they move very slow, the balloons will assist in taking down the final Inferno Tower, the E-Drags, will assist and there is your army right there very simple but uh you know useful army that you can apply right now in clan war in that previous replay i threw around the word easy quite a bit now there might be a little bit of a misconception on thinking that you can take down every single base with the electro dragons that is not always the case that previous replay has some beautiful placement of buildings now there are some bases out there that are designed to stop the electro dragons and i wanted to raise some awareness for you on that so that way you can identify these things because this base in particular has a lot of buildings that have a two tile space in between them between this gold mine and this wizard tower the same thing happens between this gold mine and this barracks and this trend happens all the way into the base between the air defense and all the way over here all the way down to the bottom of this base where we have three inferno towers set to single target mode spread across three different compartments you have to be aware of things like this and so i had justin hit this base justin is actually a rush town hall 13 thank you so much for hitting this base for me to show you this example he's got level four electro dragons this is a very strong army as a matter of fact we're not dealing with just level ones we have level fours and so what's happening here is these electro dragons are setting the funnel basically clearing out the exterior buildings but they're going to get lured directly into the base trying to go after the air defenses instead of targeting these buildings on the top side of the base so what Justin's gonna do is try to clear out a little bit more buildings and then he's gonna drop his main group. Now notice how this group is gonna get caught up on these two gold mines and this dark elixir drill. They will only be able to target those three buildings individually and then they're gonna have to move deeper to the next layer of buildings because of that two tile gap in between those buildings. So they're gonna work their way into the town halls compartment very nicely, looking good so far. But notice how the electro dragons are unable to get a chain value across the base like the previous attack they're basically going to be able to do some damage to some of these buildings but then they're going to get caught up on others like this air defense and this happens all the way throughout the base and by this point you'll notice that all the electro dragons have been taken out so i needed to raise a little bit of awareness that way you do look at your clan wars you do look at the bases and say can I actually three star that with electro dragons or do I need to bring something else? And so bases like this, you do need to be aware of because these bases are designed to stop you from three starring them with the electro dragons. Well, unfortunately, my friends, I searched through the entire clan trying to find electro dragon attacks on suitable high level town hall bases for those of you that are trying to do that type of thing. And unfortunately, right now I have been unable to find them. So we're going to finish up this video on this final replay because this base is just absolutely perfect. One, it's rushed like crazy, but then the base is also built in a manner that has all these buildings stacked on top of each other. And so we do not have an Archer Queen. We do not have a Grand Warden in this replay. And so these Electro Dragons are basically going to be able to move through the entire base with ease. Now, this is just something that I had to show you because it's very relatable to Town Hall 11. Some of you guys out there might not be very skilled with the Queen Walks. You might not be very skilled with the Balloon Armies or the Minor Armies armies or the hog rider armies so at town hall 11 you do have an opportunity to do wonderful things for your clans with the electro dragons even if it is getting high percentage two stars with the e-drags you can still look like an amazing attacker just by doing stuff like this and these things are crazy man you'll notice that they get so much value by destroying buildings across the base on one side or the other this final group of electro dragons are going to chain lightning their ability across this air defense destroy 
destroy it as well as multiple buildings around it. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up. And then I want to check my army camps to see, to see if my Electro Dragons are ready yet. Because I don't even know if they're available just yet. So one thing that I must say that if you do not have all your barracks upgraded, I would highly recommend holding off on using Electro Dragons. Because they do take a really long time to train. And uh, again, beautiful attacking here by Shadow Walker. A newer Town Hall 11 with no heroes. Just getting it done with the Electro Dragons. Let's go ahead and jump back to the base and see what the army camp looks like right now yeah we still got 41 minutes still waiting on two electro dragons so yeah we're gonna go ahead and finish it up there guys if you enjoyed our content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see the town hall 11 free to play series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care